welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have part of my Black Friday haul right now. I am filming this on the 15th of December. I still haven't received all of my orders. I haven't even gotten shipping notifications for some of them. So I will be in my, in January sometime, I'll be showing you everything. I just, I don't want to wait any longer for my Black Friday haul because it's kind of ridiculous that I haven't gotten everything. But um, I got half of my Huda order. The other half, I have no word really on other than they are overwhelmed. Pat McGrath, I haven't heard anything from. Well, I mean, they said that they will eventually get it shipped out. Storybook, I finally got a shipping notification, but they said they won't be shipping it out till tomorrow. So the 16th of December. And I ordered on Black Friday, like early in the morning because I wanted to make sure I got the stuff that I ordered. So Storybook still hasn't shipped. And it, then it's like so many days afterwards. It's just been a mess. Uh, I have my ColourPop order, one of them coming tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to find some time to sneak and film. It might be in a different room so that my students can't see me if they come to visit, don't see my filming setup. So I just, I only film on the weekends usually and I start my holiday job next Saturday the 21st and then I will be working like pretty much every day except Christmas and Christmas Eve but my grades are due on Christmas Eve so just lots of stuff going on. I'm going to start with my perfumes that I got because I did get all of those. I did an order from Macy's. This is Wild Fox and this is an apricot based fragrance and when I heard that I was like oh my gosh. I want to try it. The bottle is very cute and oh it does smell nice. It is a lighter scent. It's not like an overwhelming scent. I think this would be a really good um, everyday scent. This was $25 at Macy's which is just like an amazing deal. I actually ordered it before Black Friday because they had some of their specials. But I've noticed that even after Black Friday, it's been on sale a couple times. So you might look for that as well. Then I got this little set from Ulta. This is mini bottles and you got five of them in here. And I did take out, um, there's lots of tissue paper in there and I just took it out so that it would be easier. So the first one we have is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I do have the full size in this. I love this set. This has been one of my favorites of 2019. That's what it looks like. Super cute. There's that one. And then there's Daisy Love. Oh, so sweet. Oh, this one is so good too. I really liked Daisy Love last year and then they came out with the sweet version and I was like, oh. It's so good. This one does have a little plastic holder to keep it tucked in and it does have that big, it's not angled like it is on the full size bottle, but I still think it's pretty cute. Then Jimmy Choo Fever. Oh my gosh. This is another one that I have been loving. This is a plum based scent. It is so good. And it does have all like the little indentations like the full size Jimmy Choo bottle does. Then we have C. Passione. I, oh, there's six in here. I miscounted. This one is cute. I do like this scent too. This is probably my least favorite of the ones that I have in this set. This is probably my least favorite. I don't reach for it as much, but I do. It, it's a nice enough scent. And then Ralph Lauren Romance. I just bought this gift set of the three of them in November, but I haven't really worn it that much. I need to wear it some more. I thought it was really nice. Like I had samples of it and I liked it. And then the last one in here is from a brand called Define Me Fragrance Mist with Coconut Oil. And why don't you want to show? There we go. This has Orange Blush, Pedigrain, Mimosa and Cassis clove buds and co cocoa. So let's see what this one smells like. This is one, like I said, that I'm not familiar with. All of the other ones I have full sizes of. This is what the little bottle looks like. It does have like a little gal on the front. It's too bright, I guess, even though I seem to be in the dark. Ooh, I do not like that scent. Um, I will be passing this one along. 
it's a little strong. I, it's too strong of a scent. I like something that's a little lighter um, and not as intense. This one's pretty intense and it is vegan and cruelty free though. So that's really cool. I'd be interested in trying some of their other scents, but this one that's Peyton, P-A-Y-T-O-N, not, not my favorite, that's for sure. And then my last fragrance purchase was the Macy's uh, Cofrit, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this was $17.50 on sale. Oh, this set, shoot, I don't remember how much this set was, but I got it for 50% off. So it was like 15 maybe, something around there. And you do have, um, oh, something has leaked in here. Oh, my Versace Bright Crystal is completely leaked out. Oh, well, I guess I will be contacting Macy's about that. That's um, frustrating. I've already had to contact them this month because of the messing up my beauty bag. So it has Versace Bright Crystal, which is very sweet and bright, and I can smell it. Then the um, Cashmere, Donna Cara and Cashmere. Then Azaro Wanted Girl, which is super good. I really like that one. I feel like it's akin to Viva La Juicy, like it's a really good scent. Then Machino uh, Toy 2, which I do love. I have the full size. It is a very nice citrusy set. And then this one up here, which is D Squared 2 Wood Perf... Let's see, it says Wood Power Femme Eau de Toilette. Eau de Toilette, not Eau de Toilette. So this is what the bottle looks like. It does say wood on it. I'm a little nervous with the wood. Hmm, I can't really smell anything. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try that one out. Anyway, that is the right, this continuing set. with like fragrancy type stuff. I have my Bath and Body Works Black Friday haul. I haven't been shopping at um, Bath and Body Works very much lately, but I kind of went a little crazy this year and I haven't bought really anything for a couple years. So it was a little bit more than I normally go for. I did get to stack coupons. That's the one nice thing about Black Friday. So you get to stack coupons. So I got some free stuff. They had everything was buy three, you get three free. And then they had the VIB tote. So I'm going to show that one as well. So the first thing I got was black cherry Merlot. Oh, I just bought another one of this. This is the body cream. I was so excited that they released this. This was a hand soap before in body care because this stuff smells so freaking good. It is dark cherry, black raspberry, and sumptuous Merlot. This scent, I would get it. Like highly, 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 highly recommend. Then I got a hot cocoa and cream lotion, which smells like hot cocoa. It smells really good. It's not an overwhelming chocolate like sometimes I find things are. Then I got, those two were my free gifts, and then I got winter candy apple. I had, I got body wash and body uh, lotion. Then the same thing with this new scent, Mary Cherry Cheer. And I love cherry, like that's one of my favorite scents. This is has Marchino Cherry, Pomegranate Cider, and Sugared Musk. This does smell pretty good. I like the Black Cherry Merlot more. But this one is a good one too. I do like this one. I hope they don't get rid of it because they got rid of Pink Sugar Plum, which was my favorite and I'm very like I'm just finishing my last bottle of it and I want to cry because I love it so much it smells so good and then I got snowy citrus swirl which is another new scent for them and these notes are chilled tangerine whipped marshmallow creamy tonka bean and fresh vanilla and I do like this one too because I, I like citrus so I got those I thought those were pretty good I also got this little guy he was a free gift He's just a cute little wallflower. It was like anything, you know, you could get one thing with of a certain value. So that's what I picked out. For the buy three, get three free. <clears throat> I got this guy, cause this was $29.50. And so I picked him up. It does have like a little, the it's little snow scene, little houses in there. Super cute. And then I picked up some candles. The one candle I already gave to my aunt, that was the cinnamon stick, cause she loves cinnamon. That's a really good candle. 
I had to pick up two of this though. This is Pink Fairy Gumdrop. Oh my goodness, what are the notes in this? Sparkling sugared berries, pink cotton candy, sprinkle of fairy dust. Well, that one smells like kind of burnt because that's the one I've been burning. I've already burned quite a bit uh, in the you know two weeks since Thanksgiving. Oh, it smells so good. I totally would recommend this one if you can get your hands on it. Super good. This one, I just realized <clears throat> that I didn't notice that it was cracked underneath because of the lid, the way that the lid is. And then when I pulled the lid off, I was like, it's missing chunks. So I'm going to take this back and get it replaced hopefully and hopefully they still have this lid. I just was at my Bath and Body Works yesterday and they didn't have all of them with this lid still but this is elf village which is crushed candy cane i just thought these were the cutest they did such a good job on the packaging on these so i picked up that one and then i also got the land of sweets which is blueberry sugar which also smells so good really liked those so that was almost all everything i got from bath and body works <clears throat> I forgot the VIB tote. P tote, not B. I'm so used to um, Sephora. So it came in that. And really what it is, is this little guy right here, a box of stuff. And there's just a ton of stuff in this. This was $30 with any $30 purchase. And I definitely um, hit that $30. The first thing in here is a gingham this is like a single candle, single wick candle. Oh, that smells so good. What are the notes on this? Blue freesia, white peach, and fresh clementine. That's why I like the peach and the clementine. Then you got Into the Night, body wash and body lotion, raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvet tea, rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha must. Musk, not must. Okay. I mean, not my favorite. I like the things that are a little bit brighter, but not not terrible. Then a little pocket back antibacterial. I will pass those along because I don't use antibacterial soaps or things like that. Champagne toast foaming hand wash. I don't like the foaming hand wash, but champagne toast is nice. A spray of Into the Night. I probably will pass that along because I never go through my body sprays. I have so many it's a little like scary how many I have and then you have a champagne toast candle full-size candle oh that smells so good I really like that scent and then the last thing in <clears throat> too many scents I guess last thing in here is a gingham hand cream so pretty good deal for $30 because that candle is $24.50 normally pr normal price. And then each of these, I think, are $12.50 nowadays. They've gone up a lot. Yeah, $12.50. This candle was $14.50. The hand cream is like $4.95. I'm I'm really excited about it. Alright, moving on to Alta. The first thing I got was this little gift with purchase. And in here, it's all nicely wrapped up in tissue paper. My goodness. You got a whole bunch of stuff, which I think I have most of this. So I think I'm going to pass this whole kit and caboodle on. I'll, I don't know about the makeup bag, though. It's kind of cute. So it looks like there is a little palette, which I'm not going to open because it's like shrink wrapped. There's a palette. There's mischievous lipstick, which I already have. A lip gloss, a primer, an eye primer, and two brushes. I think it's the exact same set that I got earlier in the month of November. So super cute, I like the bag. I love the rose gold. I'm glad that I got that shade. That was the one I was hoping. You didn't get a chew, so I was happy with that. Then I got one thing. I'm ashamed to say that I bought this and I only got it because I was trying to get up to the free gift because, and I got something for my friend, which I'm not gonna show you. Um, but I was kind of curious and I was like, you know what? It's on sale for not too much and I don't really know <clears throat> what else to get and I was just I was a little tired so I picked up a Kylie blush I know I'm disappointed in me too so that's what it looks like it's it's a pretty color like I haven't swatched it yet so we'll, let's we'll, let's swatch it 
Swatch is pretty nice. Oh, that's actually a pretty color. So even though, like, I don't feel as bad because it was just a small thing and it's, you know, a blush, which is more nondescript than I feel like a lipstick or at least I didn't buy her eyeshadow or one of her lip kits. But yeah, I picked that up. I know, I'm disappointed in me too. Then I picked up a MAC. This is part of their Powder Kiss lipsticks and I've been curious about these. They were $15. I went shopping with my cousin's daughters and they are 13 and 15, I think. Is that right? Yeah. They took freaking forever at Alta. We were supposed to go to a movie. We missed that showtime. We missed like several more showtimes. So we ended up, the 4.30 movie, I think was 4.30. We ended up going to like a 6.15 movie because they took so long and then we had to get food afterwards and it was, it was a little ridiculous. Anyway, I bought them each something from Ulta, let them kind of choose, but also was like, I'm not gonna buy you a full priced mascara when you, know, you could get this other one that's just as good for $10 right now which was a little disappointing to the 13 year old. She wanted me to buy her Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. I was like, all of these other ones are on sale. So she finally eventually picked something out. The other one wanted like the palest of the pale lipstick. And of course that was out of stock and it was, it was a bloody mess. It wasn't a bloody mess. It was a lot of fun, but it was also like, oh my gosh, you guys are so much prettier than me. And I picked up several things as I was waiting for them. One of them was this MAC lipstick. This is the shade A Little Tamed, and I just thought it was a really pretty color. I really enjoyed wearing it. I do like the formula. It's kind of like their matte, MAC, bleh. it's kind of like their matte formula, but a, just a little bit less intense, which is kind of nice. So I really do like it. I think it's a really pretty shade. Did I need to buy it? No, because I bought other lipsticks too. I bought this Becca lipstick set. I've been interested in this and it went on sale, which was kind of nice. It just, I couldn't figure out how to get the lipsticks out. And then I realized like, you just have to kind of like force them in and out. Yes, one of them is missing because the lightest of the three shades, um, I don't even know what the shade was. Anyway, the lightest of the three shades went to my cousin's daughter. And that's fine because that was the one I didn't want. So the first shade in here is Rosewood. They are very small, like they're not giant lipsticks at all. That is so pretty. And unlike their big, like full size counterparts, they do not have that magnetic closure. And then Orchid is the other shade. So I'm, I'm actually happy with those. I think they're pretty nice. Then I did some orders. This one I ordered online. This is the Body Shop Body Butters. And I was thinking I didn't, I wasn't going to need Body Butters next year, but I forgot that I purchased this. So, <clears throat> um, the first one is Mango, which is amazing. I love the scent of their Mango. Then this one is Almond Milk and Honey, which I hadn't heard of before, but it smells really good. I do like the scent of Honey, so... I know other people don't. If you don't like it, you won't like it. That's for sure. And then Moringa, which is not one that I was as familiar with. It, it's more of a floral. It's not my favorite. It will, it's gonna be on my feet, so it doesn't matter as much, but it's not something I would get to like coat from head to toe. Back to in-store shopping. The Saharan Blush Palette from Juvia's Place. This is the volume two. This was something I've been interested in in the past, but I was, you know, not quite sure if I should do it or not. And then it was on sale and I was, you know, in Ulta for over an hour kind of wandering and trying to offer advice, but they did not want my advice. So that's fine. This is what it All right, looks and like. Swatch, that's what it looks like. This one, it's there, I swear. It's just very light. It's that one in the middle. Um, I haven't really played with it very much. I need to play with it some more, but um, I like it so far. It's a little darker than I normally would go for, but that's okay. Then I picked up this set from Makeup Revolution because it was so darn cute. And I thought this was gonna be all of eyeshadow palettes, but when I opened it, I was like, oh, this is not exactly what I was expecting. 
at all. So this first one in the middle on the top, this is just sponges. So it's like different colored sponges. It's pink and white. I don't know if I will use those. They feel like the old school ones that I had back in the day. And then on the mid middle and the bottom is this. This is peanut butter and jelly. And these are kind of funny because they're squishy, but they're not, they feel like a little, not very well attached. At All least right, so that actually didn't swatch too bad. And I think you could get a nice look out of this actually. I get a little nervous because I don't think they're very travel friendly just because of the way the packaging is made. But I do think they're super cute and they'd be fun to use. Then this is called Pink Frosting. And this is one of the duos. It's like a blush and maybe another blush. I don't know if that's supposed to be a highlighter or a blush. We'll swatch them over here on the side. It's kind of hard to tell that pink because it's a little prominent on my skin, which I, is not showing up. Let's see if we can swatch it somewhere else so you can see. Um, there, yeah, it looks a little bit more like a blush on me. It might work better as a um, highlighter on other right, people. The next one is called Cinnamon Sugar, and it is just a lot of bronzer. It doesn't look too orangey, which is nice. Yeah, that's a nice bronzer shade, I guess. I just, I'm not the biggest bronzer fan, so not probably my, not the best judge of that. Then we have one that's called Vanilla Frosting, and this is, this is your highlighter. So those were supposed to be both blushes. And let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that's kind of pretty, very nice and shiny. Which brings us to the last one in this tray, which was not closed. This is Chocolate Caramel, which I get from the, the colors All right, on. and that's what the rest of the colors look like in that set. I think this was $18 for the set, which isn't too bad. You get two five pans and then two blushes, a split pan of blush, highlighter, and um, bronzer plus sponges. I would not pay uh, $36 for this, and I wish they would have shown the back because I thought they were all eyeshadow palettes when I got them because I was trying to look at the ones that they actually sell from Makeup Revolution and they were not, they, they didn't quite correspond. So it's, it was a little hard to tell, but I did order that one online because I wasn't sure how fast it would sell out. It was still available this last week when I was on the all right. site. Back up next is Macy's. I ordered those perfumes, but then I ordered one other item as well. That was the Beauty Blender BFF, BBF collection. This was on sale for $20, so it was basically buy one Beauty Blender, get one free. I don't really know what I will do with the plastic case that they come in, but you know, two for the price of one is a great deal. On Beauty Next Blender. up is some stuff that I got from my friend Lainey. She has a website, zanylaney.com. She also has Instagram and YouTube and all of those good things. But she does scents that are based on different pop culture items. And I ordered quite a few because she had her scrubs um, that she was clearing out for $4 a piece, which they're normally eight. And she has monthly specials and I usually get them for seven. So I was really excited to get them. I got all that she had left of an occupation, which is Sense and Sensibility. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite scent. It does has nothing to do with Jane Austen, even though Jane Austen's my favorite. But this is Raspberry Apples and Almonds. It smells absolutely amazing. Totally would recommend that one. That's my favorite. I'm not gonna un open these right now and smell them. That's the only thing I will say because I have some open already and I don't want to break the seal because they can leak. Then I have Thunder Thunder, which is based on the Thunderbirds. And this is orange cream and soda, which sounds amazing. I've heard really good things about it. This one I love as well. This is now Sit based on the secret life of pets and it is grapes, pears, and apples. It's super fruity in your face. This one I heard was good as well. 
This one, I think my friend Stephanie created the scent. You can also work with them to create scents, which is kind of cool. This is based on Gummy Bears, the TV series, and it is here, there, and everywhere. Gummy candy and fizzy juice, which it's supposed to smell good. I've heard it smells good. And then this one was another one. This is based on somebody from Mario. I'm not a video game girl. So strength and dignity, rain, daisies, and berries. And it sounds pretty nice. This one, they were also doing like a dollar from each one went to breast cancer awareness because Lainey is a survivor of breast cancer. All right, moving on, we have Sephora. I put in three Sephora six, um, purchases on Black Friday because I was trying to get, you know, you can put in the codes and get like a little extra. So I was trying to do that because they don't really give you a lot of extra stuff at Sephora. I love Sephora, but they're not the best at giving you the most for your money. So I put in three orders. I will say, I'm gonna go through the free stuff first. They combined some of my orders and did not send me my stuff. And then they sent me like 150 bonus points or something. And I was like, really? That's lame. You didn't send me my samples. You didn't send me my extra item. And then one of the items was missing part of it anyway. Actually, no. Didn't get my samples. Only got two of the three pieces in the one set. So these are from Ren. It is an overnight recovery balm and an ultra comforting rescue mask. There was supposed to be like a day cream as well. They didn't send it. They didn't include it in the box. I don't know why. Then I got this Stilla lip gloss in the shade Beauty Boss. I decided this would be a nice like little gift. So that's why I got that one. I'm not going to actually use it myself. Then I got from Kate Somerville. This is a biomimicking peptides serum. And I, it's like a 10 day supply. So that was kind of cool. That was the, one of the other things that I got. And then s perfumes. And they didn't really send me the perfumes I asked for either, which was kind of frustrating because I had asked for some um, different perfumes and also some foundation samples because I wanted to try different foundation foundations. So Killian, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess which smells super good. It is ginger, green tea, and marshmallow. I really like it. Sauvage by Dior. Those are going to both be passed along. Well, that's going to be passed along. Then my second order, I got another Killian. And then one from Floor, Ameline, or Ameline by Floor. No, it's Floor. And it is, they're from Austin, so it must be Texas. So it is, Rose, Italian bergamot, pink pepper, patchouli, and sandalwood. It will be interesting to try, that's for sure. I haven't tried either of those brands. Now, onto the things that I purchased. First thing I got was a Murad. No, this was part of Ulta. Why is this in with my Sephora? Murad Pore Rescue Pore Extractor Pomegranate Mask. This one just sounded really up my alley. I can always use pore problems and I really love Murad. So I did pick up that one, That, but like I said, that was from Ulta. I don't know why it got in with my Sephora. All right, It Cosmetics CC Plus Soul Matte Duo. This is the primer and then the shade light of the CC cream. I've tried the BB cream and I wasn't a super fan of it, but this is a matte version, so I'm hoping that I will like it better. And I'm also hoping it will match my skin tone. Let's see how All right, it's So there it is on my skin. Let's see. It might be a little dark. Um, it might work actually. We're gonna hope that it works, but that's what it I can already like. tell you I like the feel of it better than this BB cream, and it does come with a primer as well, so I'm interested in trying that. Then I picked up a Givenchy lipstick. This one I was really excited about. This is Fram Bros Velours, and these are their fancy special packaging, and it does have a leather case, which is kind of cool, so definitely not cruelty-free. And it is this beautiful berry shade. It does have the Gavotte shade. So there. that's what it looks like. I'm, I'm really excited. I think I'm probably going to keep the box as well because it does have that pattern on it. Just super pretty. 
Then the last makeup things I got were the Viseart mini palettes. And honestly, I don't know why I bought these because I have two of them already. And I never reach for them. I'm like, they're okay, they're not my favorites. But I really just, I wanted these two for some reason, so I ordered them. The first one is like the apricot, apricot teen or something like that. I thought this would be a nice travel palette because it does have a lot of, I'm just gonna swatch a couple. I'm not gonna swatch all of them like the ColourPop because we've been here forever already. Those already seem to be performing better than the ones that I have at home. I have like three and four, the green one and the kind of purpley one. So I actually think like, this, when I'm traveling, I think these will be good. And then I picked up this one because, oh my gosh, look at those shades. Super pretty. We're going to swatch all of the bright colors and we're gonna to try to swatch the yellow with my thumb, which is probably not a good idea, but it I dug a little hard, so there was excess powder. The pinks aren't as good as I was hoping, but the yellow and the purple are pretty nice there. So yeah, not too bad. Definitely has a little staining power, like the purple, I have a little stain. And forgive my nails, Ugh. it was film or do my nails, so I'm using the daylight for filming. The last thing I got was this set from Sunday Riley, which I am most excited about because this was 81 on sale. And it's a full size good jeans right here. This is the smaller one out size, but there's also, it's like 105 normally. So that one I love. That's like my holy grail, best serum for my face. I haven't tried the retinol, but I'm excited to try it. I haven't tried the autocorrect, but I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna pass along the Tidal Wave because it's not my favorite moisturizer. And the CEO Glow, I haven't tried it at all yet either, but that's, it's definitely something that I need to try. I've been meaning to try it. I just haven't gotten around. All right, so that is my Black Friday haul as it stands right now. Like I said in my first video, I will be coming back in January after I finish like my insane working every single day over Christmas break. Um, and I will show you the rest of the stuff if it's come here. Hopefully it gets here by then. I'm a little irked that it's the middle of December and I still haven't gotten shipping notices from some companies. Some other companies have given me shipping notices but said that they're not shipping them out yet. I would have ordered very differently if I had known. I just feel like December has been kind of a really weird month. Like I've had so many issues with things that I've purchased and just life in general. Anyway, I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. I am so grateful for each and every one of you who watches and especially for those of you who comment. You warm my heart every time I read one of your comments. I hope you're having a fantastic holiday season and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.